Hi guys, Autumn here today to do my January part 2 wrap up. Um, so I will leave part 1 linked down below if you're interested. I read a total of 19 books in the month of January, which I'm very happy about. Um, and this part is going to talk about 11 out of those. Um, so yes, the first book I read is Underneath It All by um, Daniel Taylor. This is book one in the Country Heart series. Um, this follows Jace, who is a um, retired um, football star, and Kelly, who is a stripper because she's paying um, for, um, like, she needed the money. Um, and um, this book deals with abuse and rape, um, so if you're not a fan of that or if that's some trigger for you, I would not recommend this. This also kind of has cheating um, a little bit. I mean, it's not like full on cheating, but it's kind of cheating, I feel. Um, I get this 3.5 out of 5 stars. I did enjoy it and it was a quick read um so yes um so then I read The Truth About Him by M. O'Keefe this is um, book two in the Everything I Left Unsaid series this picks up right where that one left off um, and this follows again this follows Dylan and Annie and you get more characters um, like you meet more characters and this has a lot of drama um, I did enjoy it I gave it 3.5 out of 5 um, stars and this is the final book about Daniel and um, Annie I um, did enjoy it and I um, am looking forward to continuing on with this series. And then I read um, Southern Desires by Kaylee Ryan. This is book two in the Southern Heart series. I gave this five out of five stars. This follows Erin who is um, the main girl in Southern something, sorry, the first book, Anne's um, brother, um, and for the life of McCall, uh, no, it's Michaela, I think, or something like that. Um, I read that in December, so, um, and Whitley, uh, Whitney, sorry, um, and Whitney moves, um, after her mom died, she moves um, in with her aunt and cousin, um, and um, then she um, is a photographer, so she works with Erin's sister, um, and um, this just follows their journey. Um, I gave this 5 out of 5 stars, really enjoyed it, and um, can't wait to read any more of this series, if there is any more, I don't know. So, then I read... Bittersweet by Serena Bowen. Um, I gave this four out of five stars. I did really enjoy it. This follows Griffin, who is a farmer, and Audrey, who is um, a cook. Um, and she works for a firm where she has to find like farmers for fresh stuff. Um, so they could put in like their farmer's market or st stuff and um, I gave this and this is book one in the True North series and I gave it four out of five stars really did enjoy it can't wait to continue on with the series then I read Finders Keepers by C.A. Rose this is um, Aurora Rhodes Reynolds pin name um, this was a quick novella. Um, I gave it five out of f five stars. This follows Hunter and Aspen, and um, this is an alpha male romance. Um, 
and as I said, it's a novella. It's like 75 pages. Um, so if you're not a fan of that, I would not recommend this, but I um, really did enjoy it and can't wait to read more by C.A. Rose and Aurora Rhodes Reynolds. So yes. And then I read The Hazard of Skinny Dipping by Aly uh, Alyssa Rose Ivory. This is book one in the Hazard series. This is free. Um, so if you're interested, this follows Juliet and Reed. Um, this is a new adult book. Um, and the first book by her I have read and I really enjoyed her writing style um, so that's why I picked up the other books in this series and um, her mixology series because they were 99 cents and I just really enjoyed um, her writing and this was a quick read um, I gave it five out of five stars but it follows Juliet who um, is going to college and her cousin um, who is going away for military writes her a list of things she has to do before she starts college and um, one of them is to go skinny dipping um, so she goes skinny dipping and um, then she runs into her um, longtime crush I forget his name um, but throughout this book they are all are a couple, her longtime crush and Juliet are a couple, and then she meets Reed in one of her classes, and he offers um, to get her a job where he works and stuff, and they just form a friendship, um, and it's very cute, and I really did enjoy it. Um, then I read. Walk the Edge by Katie McGarry. McGarry, sorry. This is book two in the Thunder Road series. Um, this is a YA motor motorcycle gang um, story. This one follows Brianna and Razor. I gave this three out of five stars. Um, it, I did like it, and I, um, glad I listened to it and. Because um, I got this from my library from on audio, um, and it was enjoyable. Um, and again, sorry, I don't remember much about this because I've been very busy um, with work. So, but I did enjoy it. Um, and then I read until. Fountain Bridge by Samantha Young. I don't actually have a copy. I borrowed the audiobook from my library. This is book 1.5 in the On Dublin Street series, and I gave it 4 out of 5 stars, but it's probably more of 4.5 out of 5 stars. So far, it's my favorite book in the series that I've read, and it's a novella, so it was very quick. Um, this is Adam and Ellie's um, book. But it was kind of cool because it showed um, Ellie's diary of when they were young. I mean, when they were, like, throughout their, like, lives of, like, their first kiss. How um, Ellie really felt about Adam. And I really did enjoy that. Um, and, yes. Then I read Dark Hearts by Macaulay Smolzer. This is book three in the Light in the Dark series. Um, I gave this five out of five stars. Really enjoyed it. This follows Nova and Jace um, and their best friends. And they always said they would never get married or never have a real relationship. Um, and through their friendship, they got to know each other and fall in love. Um, and it was very good. Um, and I don't want to give away too much because there are a few um, parts in this where I could say something, but it's spoiler. So, yes, but I highly recommend this series. 
or anything by her. She's one of my favorite authors, if not my favorite author. So, yes, highly recommend. And then the last book I read is Above It All, I mean, on my Kindle. I have one more. The last um, is Above It All, which is book two, uh, in the Country at Heart series by Danielle Taylor. I gave this three out of five. Um, this uh, is a conclusion of Jace and Callie's book. Um, it was quick. Um, I did like it, um, so, yes, I, I would recommend this series. And then the last book I read was Down London Road by Samantha Young, which is book two in the On Dublin Street series. I gave this 3.5 out of 5 stars. This is, um, Joanna's and Cam's book, um, Joanna, Jo, um, is taking care of her brother, um, and, um, for her mom because her mom is an alcoholic, and, um, she takes care of her brother, and then she meets Cam at her work at the bar, and, um, she, she and him do not get, um, along first, at first, and then Cam moves in, her apartment building and he's right um he has an apartment below hers um and I did enjoy it I gave it 3.5 out of 5 and I can't wait to continue on with this series um so those are all the books I read um in the second part of January and as I said I read 19 books in January which I'm happy about um and if you've read any of these and would like me to do like a full review on any of them please let me know um yeah um I'd be more than happy to do a full review on any of them and um I'll see you guys later bye